it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. I wanted to show you how to make some fun cards using some of the border dies that I've got and I'll show you all those in a moment but these are a couple that I've already made and I'm going to make a slightly different one using a different set with you all in a moment but how pretty are these? So these are the Bright Rosa, this is the flower border so I've just doubled it up and put it on both sides and then I've gone a little bit different I think in terms of my style. I've gone really clean and I like the way that I've done these um, sentiments which are also part of this um, Bright Rosa collection. I just think it looks really really quite different. You've got plenty of room on the back to be able to write your message. I'll probably do a little frame of some kind just so that it's not just that sparse white but the whole thing folds flat and that kind of happy birthday peeps through as well which was nice. Um, I just need to make an envelope for that one but if I just bring it up closer just look at all these beautiful flowers. You've got all this dimension. See this cuts it out perfectly and then I've just distressed them using some distressed oxide. So I used the, was it that one I used or was it a different? No, I think it was those two. So I've been playing around with a lot today. So I used the evergreen and the mustard seed. Yeah, it was those two there. Really, really nice together. So those two. And um, then I just finished off with some silver kind of sparkle paper there. And then just some little kind of faceted flat back pearls there and I thought it, it's just come together really nicely and that whole piece there I stuck separately and just distressed it with that same colour and it just tied it all together really well so that was that style and then this one here so I've done like a Z fold and again that same sentiment style and this is using the fern border die so you get this lovely shape here you can see on the back it's all cut out from the same piece and then you've got room to write your message there I just inked all of this, or oh, you've got lots of room on the back there if you did want to do some more with it. And then I've have I've got the envelope for that somewhere. I have done that one. But they've just got, you know, a lovely profile, that real clean look about them with all the white and just the real kind of clean lines, a little bit of distressed inking going on there. So for that one I used the barn door and it was either carved pumpkin or spice marmalade. I think I might even mix mix them all in at one point. So I think I yeah I think I possibly did use the three. So yeah, it's been really nice actually getting my inks out and just doing a, a little bit. Yeah, just the the other kind of things that I enjoy doing. So hopefully this will inspire you to get your inks out and have a go as well. So those two were using this one here. So this is the Bright Rosa flower border which I used for that one. So it's this lovely big one here and the nice thing about all these is there's so many different kind of ways to use them. So there is the frame that I cut to create that piece there and then I use that one. Or you can have it as a whole separate piece and you just use both the frames and you'd have that whole kind of piece there cut out. And then these are all of the flowers which you've seen me use in other tutorials and even down to these little bits here are what give you that lovely detail in the centre. So that's the flower border for that one and then for this one is the fern. I love this fern, it's just such a huge die and that's what I've done to create that. And it's the same as that one, you get the two outside frames, oh, nearly dropped it, these ones here, so I use that again to create this piece here or you see me use it separately on my gift bags I've made a gift tag from it as well so you get lots of dies with that one and then the sentiments have come from two of the different ones you've got the sentiment words and the birthday words so the birthday words was this one here and I use the happy birthday but you can also have birthday wishes because that's wishes and then these say happy birthday and that one says best so you've got those with it and then for this one I use the hello just down the side there but you also have thinking of you and thank you and then you have friend, family, always and you. So again they're just really really nice there's just endless kind of variations to these dies you can do so many different things with them so that's using those ones to create those two and then I also wanted to use this is the other one so you get three border dies you get the butterfly the fern and the flower so this is the butterfly one and it's this lovely big one here now I have gone ahead and cut it but I'm going to do some more whilst I do the video and then the colours I'm using for this one are these I thought I'm going to real, really clash some fun colours so this is the Distress Oxide Twisted Citron it's a beautiful colour in fact it's making it look a bit more mustardy yellow in the video hopefully once it's actually up on YouTube you'll see more of this true kind of it's almost fluorescent it's lovely and then I'm mixing it with this one here which is my new Harmony 
um, Spectrum Noir and this is Fuchsia and it is just beautiful, it's such a rich colour. So they're the two that I'm going to be using today. I'm not entirely sure how I'm going to put this together yet, which is why I thought I'd do the video, just to show you all the different ways. So. I guess from this video it is you know inspiration if you have these dies then brilliant but any kind of border dies that you have hopefully you'll be able to create these kind of looks and everything is being cut from white cardstock and then we're just adding our color with our inks rather than with patterned and, and you know colored papers so you will need if you've got the bright rosa dies you will need the larger die cutting machine because these dies kind of coming out about seven and a quarter seven and a half inches long and obviously my standard die machine is six my big shot so i'm using the grand caliber the spellbinders one that's the a4 one that i have so what i want to do first of all i get all that out of the way so it's safe so i've got my plates here and i've got my white a4 and first of all i want to cut the left side you always want to cut the left side if you want to have that because obviously you flip these over so that's the way it will be so I need the left hand side to cut first to give me that left hand side of my card then when I go to do the right hand side for example like I did on this one I may well do this same one I need to see how much space I've got in the middle or I may go for the Z fold style again but I'll show you how I decide all that in a moment so first of all I'm just going to lay this one down I want to also make sure well it will be up the right way you can't not have it the right way because otherwise it won't cut so let's just pop that all there I'm just going to Right now, I don't cut the cardstock. I just cut it with the die first, and then I'll cut with the um, my trimmer to get it the right height. So for the minute, I'm just gonna cut it directly into the paper. Whenever I'm using like white, I always lay down a piece of copy paper, and then I lay my top plate. Just, I mean, <laughs> you can see these. You just get bits in them. I mean, that was cut on a piece of black cardstock years ago and um, you wouldn't want any of that kind of coming off and also the impression that might be on the plates. I could also probably be better if I use that side anyway. So I'm just gonna run that one through. So what will happen is it will just cut out like this. So what we need to do, because now we can start trimming our card down to size, is I'm gonna cut a nice straight line and join up with that bottom piece and then come up this side and do again the same. Okay, so now I've cut that shape out. Next, I wanna cut down and down and that will give me the height of that exact die and that will then form the height of my card. The easiest way I find to do that is if you flip it and use the flat end, pop it in your cutting machine and I'm lining up where I just cut down to there, the top of that die, I'm lining that up with the blade on my guillotine here trimmer or rotary trimmer rotary trimmer and then just cut that and you'll get a really nice join and then rather than put that then at the top just where you just cut that way just flip it over oh what's that color oh, hopefully that's going to cut away got some black ink somewhere and then again i'm just lining that up i want to get it right up into that corner yeah most of that's cut away and i'll probably cut the rest in a minute anyway so no harm done there, just check your fingers. There's nothing worse when you like lean on an ink pad or something. <laughs> okay, so now we have this. So I've got that start of the card. So if I, so I went ahead and I cut this one. Okay, that's that whole lovely die there. And you can just lay it down in there. Okay, but what I'm thinking I'm gonna do is I'm gonna ink the background so this white really pops and then these pop against the white underneath so it's kind of layered and that's what I've done here. So this piece is separate but I inked all that underneath just so it kind of, I love that the, you've got the white against the, the color there. So I think that's probably what I'm gonna do for this one. But what I wanna do now is work out if I've got room. So I'm gonna bring this die across to this side and I'm gonna bring over this other side here this is going to cut this end and then I want to work out if I've got room to be able to get that right as close as I can to the end I'm going to have to have a score line coming to here because that's the that piece here comes out the furthest so I'm going to have a score line there then I would have to do one inch 
I'm just not going to have enough room so I'm going to do a Z fold for this one so I'm going to do this style here. So if you're wondering what I'm trying to work out it's this one here for example where I cut on both sides because I had a lot of space in the middle to be able to score, score again at one, have a nice piece in the centre then have another one inch and then the end. I haven't got that room in the middle of this one. That's yeah, so that one's probably not really going to work in terms of me being able to have a sentiment or something in the middle. So I'm going to go for this design today. So I'm going to remove all of that. Don't need to worry about cutting that side because that's just going to be straight. Okay, so I'm just going to bring in my scoreboard. So you want to die cut whatever it is that goes with your border dies because hopefully you've got an edge border and then you've got other bits that go with it like this. I'm going to just sit it where it would go and then I can see roughly where that score line needs to be before I can do my inking. So I'm going to score it four and one eighth. So I think that will give it a nice, nice space. Let's have another little look. Yeah, that'll be perfect because by the time it has its frame, yeah. That'd be really nice. Okay, so now just remove all that. I'm not gonna decide on the other part of this yet. It's kind of a card that evolves as you add to it. So it's just, again, just kind of showing you how sometimes things, I put things together. Okay, so where I've now got that score line, I'm just gonna burnish it for a second just so I can see it a bit better. And then I'm gonna bring in some of my, oh, my purple tape. I'm gonna pop it to the, cause I wanna ink all this area up to the score line, so I wanna, run this tape along that score line so I don't get anything bleeding over. Okay, I'm just going to bring in my mat. Someone did ask me where this mat was from. It was from a pound shop in China. It was called, well actually it's a Japanese shop called Daiso and um, everything was uh, 10 kwai which is just about a pound and I think it was in the baking section sections. I think it's what you roll your kind of icing, royal icing and things like that out for cake decorating. So it's just yeah I'm sure if you go into any of your kind of discount you know those pound shops, dollar stores, things like that you'll be able to pick up something like this in the baking section but it's really handy for inking and stuff because it just rinses off. Okay, so I am going to, so now I need to think what kind of colour. I may do some, try and do like an ombre of this colour into this colour. <laughs> so, or I just do this real nice twisted citron. Actually, the way that I'm going to do it, you're not really going to see a lot anyway. So I'm just going to do this twisted citron because I do really really like it so I'm just inking up one of my makeup brushes I've got the links of, to these shared below really really grateful fast inking and I'm just going to cover this whole thing this cardstock is smooth it's the Dovecraft Smooth 250 I think GSM again I will link it all below so now I've already got that lovely matching. Yeah, I think I'll do this with the citron and then the panel towards the other side I will have in that lovely fuchsia. So that should be a real nice kind of clash together. So the distressed oxide inks, you do need to kind of let them dry a little bit. They take a little bit longer. So I'm just going to heat set mine with you're doing is drying it don't put your heat really close to it you know so it warps I've literally just dried it so it hasn't you know changed the shape of the paper so now I can just take that off and you get a really nice coloured piece there I'll probably wash my hands in a minute because I'm worried of any kind of wet ink that I still may have okay so this is now going to be this way up and then you can see what I'm trying to achieve. You've got that pink against it. It's just going to look, I think, really, really fun. I'm looking forward to this one. Okay, so next we need to, I think, score the Z fold into it and actually now kind of see where that panel's going to go. Again, I'm just going to pop this one in here and I'm going to, so that was at four and one eighth, that last score line. So I'm going to do, I think I'm going to do two inches. So I'm going to do six and one eighth just so it's got a nice Z piece to it. Okay, so this one and then this one will go underneath, Ooh. like so. And then what's gonna happen, i just burnish that now, is I'm gonna have the panel, so this is what I'm trying to achieve. I'm gonna have my sentiment 
in this section and then however big that sentiment is I will then just cut off that end but I'll do that last because I think now that I know how that's all going to sit it should be fine okay so let's get rid of this okay so what I actually now want to do is I want to cut this butterfly shape as a whole piece so I'm just going to sit this together so just line it up don't worry if the the actual metal doesn't well the, the metal will touch you want that but don't worry if it doesn't I'll show you when I bring it up closer I bring it up see so it's like a little kind of triangle that doesn't matter but they are touching right on where they need to and if it doesn't you know if there's a little bit still attached you can just snip it so I'm just going to cut that one okay so now I can just take this away yeah it's got a little bit that I need to snip but that's fine what I'm trying to achieve with this car is just like a real block effect so I'm just going to snip that ever so slightly there and just cut that up there and just cut around like so okay so now this is what I was saying you're not going to actually see all this colour that piece is going to stick right over the end again okay and then I'm going to start layering all these butterflies in so they've got that white to pop this colour but then this colour pops against that white so <laughs> I'm just trying to like yeah work it all out in my head so I'm going to stick this onto there okay so very carefully it's easy to do because you just line it up with the outer side and then everything else will fall into place so now I'm going to piece these into their home so and I did colour them so that it would be one pink one kind of citrus and so on so now that one will be there and then I think it was that one just there and then that one there can you see how good that look I love these dyes oh I love it so much right okay let me I'm going to use this glue because it's not it dries it doesn't dry tacky so I don't want any glue if anything oozes out so I'm going to stick that one you just need to kind of roughly work out a nice border a white border around it so I won't actually be using that piece today but um, that will definitely get used in another tutorial because it's so pretty and I love butterflies so I'm just going to stick that one there so all I'm doing is just tacking the body and um, I'll probably add some sparkle and things to the ends um, later on just to finish it off I might put some little embellishments in the middle center of the bodies okay so that's that done so next I'm going to just set that to one side and think of the sentiment that I want to add with this one I think I might do another hello you know or actually a happy birthday would look quite nice to have the two maybe I'll do the happy birthday so you can see just how nice these look so again I'm not using the frame I'm cutting them into the cardstock so that's the or should I do birthday wishes no I'll do birthday wishes so there's the birthday wishes at least then they're all a little bit different so this is using the birthday words okay so I've got some cardstock again I'm not cutting anything down until yeah until I've kind of yeah I'm happy with it all so I'm gonna have happy and then birthday oh no wishes wasn't it so they're going to be stuck together so actually what I'll do is stick them together first of all so just literally line them up perfectly just make sure they're the same line up at the top and the bottom there just stick them together so I've got one die now so the only thing you need to kind of think about is so where I've got this one here I've got that kind of half an inch there before the sentiment starts so I do need to think about that with this piece because the background of this is going to be this lovely pink so I will have probably about that same gap so I'm going to just line it up here with my mat and then I'm going to line this up with the dots just want to make sure I've got a nice gap there and then again grab some more of my tape just, I've just realized what I've done I've put happy wishes I don't want happy wishes I want birthday wishes I bet some of you were there talking to the screen going, Sam, I'm sure you've got the wrong ones. Right, birthday wishes, let's start again. So I want to make sure I've got them both the right way. 
happy wishes would have been okay, but I prefer birthday wishes. And then, yeah, so this is going to cut into this piece here. So when I take this die off, the happy wishes, the birthday wishes will be in the card. So I will be inking it afterwards. You can ink it before if you want just a plain piece and then run that through. But I'm going to just, I'm going to run it through my smaller machine. I'm just going to trim this down. So I don't want this to rip my paper because I need it. There we go. So look at that. It's cool, isn't it? Really, really like these. It's again something so different to what I've got. I'm just gonna these plates are so worn, but they're still in great condition in terms of they're not broke, so I'm not getting rid of them. Okay, so I'm gonna use the pink so I can just pop it straight onto that and cover this whole thing. Okay, so I've gone really heavy with this ink. You don't have to do it as like I have, but I do want that real strong colour coming through. Okay, so I'm just going to whack some heat over that just to speed up the drying process. Okay, so I'm pleased with that. Now I'm just going to trim this down, only this side. So I'm happy with that side, so I want to get this side the same. So I reckon... Out there, looks about right. Maybe a little bit more, smidge more. Oh, can you see the ink coming off on my? Oh, I'm gonna have to let that dry a bit more. I don't put that anywhere near that white card yet because it's still, can you see it? And it's come off on my board. So I'm just gonna let that dry a little bit longer. Okay, so I'm gonna, my hands are what clean, that's just stained, which I'll get off in a minute. So I'm just gonna. Push that carefully down, and then that is going to go in there. And then I'm just going to trim the top off and trim that edge there. So I'm going to, I'm not going to use that glue, I'm going to use this glue, but I've misplaced my pin, which I always do, and I know I need to get a magnet on it, <laughs> but I just haven't. So, <laughs> right, I'm just going to add glue around here. Lay that down and lie this next to it. And there you have it. How cool is that? Such a different looking card, but I really like it. I think it's just, it's really modern. I think it's perfect for someone who's a bit more minimalist. Again, you know, and really modern. So that one stands up really nicely there. I could stamp something inside as well. Okay, so there's that one. And then that one. I'm going to put that on some white card because I don't want this getting anything that might have been on there. And again, I'm just going to pop that one there just until they are completely... These are fine. These are bone dry, but that one is, I think, just a little bit tacky still. But I just think they're really, really nice. I think they're a fun way of showing off these dies, these lovely sentiments that you get with them as well. I think they look really, really fun. And I just like that I've yeah created a different kind of style for me and it's been really, really fun. So I hope it's inspired you. Hope you now go and get your inks out, start having some fun with just plain white card and see what cards you can create. So yeah, hope you've enjoyed it. Please give me a thumbs up if you have and subscribe to my channel so you get to see more. Thanks for watching. Bye.